Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, just hello to you. This is 2021 end of the year review. <laughs> Thank you for joining me all of 2021. I've really enjoyed you guys. Um, but I'm gonna take you through each month and talk to you about what I was doing. A little bit here, a little bit there. A lot of pregnant stuff. Sorry, it just is what it is when you're pregnant. It got a little messy in January. Isaac's birthday was in January. I had a whole one year old in January. Whoa, now I'm about to have a whole two year old in January with two extra kids. Okay, so my mom told me that however old your kid is turning, that's how many guests you should have at the party. Cause like they get overwhelmed, they can't handle it, whatever. So I tried it. Sure enough, he was overwhelmed. There was balloons everywhere, gifts everywhere, cake, yada, yada. We were like in his face taking so many pictures. The highlight of January was that Isaac turned one. All right, well, February, oh, my hair. February was fabulous. I did something fun and I launched Saint Tropez. Okay, so the other really exciting thing that happened in February of 2021 oh, was that I was on the cover of Wall Street Journal. Ethan James Green shot me and the stylist, oh, the stylist, Dara, I love you. You are so good. She really just like outdid herself and she was putting me like in close, Couture, by the way. Uh-huh, honey. Your friend who's a size 16 was wearing couture, okay? Because it exists for us. Just nobody likes to talk about it. Nobody likes to sell it. You go into the department store, you don't see that stuff because the buyers aren't buying it. There are still some designers that need to get on board and make that stuff for us curvy girls. But let me tell you something, it's out there. You just have to hunt. So anyways, that was a really fun, really, Monumental cover. So grateful for that cover. Hello, March. It's nice to see you again. So in March, I actually shot the Hugo Boss uh, runway show, which was so much fun. And it was unlike any other runway show. We did it virtually and everybody was like, had their moment and we did like a basketball. Cue the footage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Just doing a little Stairmaster situation. I just want to tell you guys how awesome April was. It was so dope. I actually hosted the Ellen DeGeneres show. Thank you, Ellen, for letting me host. That was a lot of fun. Um, working with the writers about what my opening skit was going to be, and my opening monologue, what I wanted to talk about, who I was interviewing, and why I was interviewing them. And one of the most fun things that I did on Ellen was I smashed some watermelons with Demi Lovato. What? Ah! Wow! Ah! That was fun. Love you, Demi. And then yes, there was Mother's Day. And the day before Mother's Day is when I found out that I was pregnant with the boys. I didn't know it was twins. I didn't obviously didn't know the gender, but I knew that I was oh so sick. But I still I took my mom. We went to the spa and we had facials and massages and it was such a nice mother's day with my mommy so june was super romantical because justin and i got to shoot british vogue together i was helping him model a little bit you know because he's usually on the other side of the camera i love you justin and then there was july where i announced that i was pregnant in three minutes we are posting on tiktok at 10 15 we're posting on instagram okay and then i think at 10.30, we're gonna post on Twitter. I took a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest and now it's game time, bitches. I had no idea that I was having twins during that pregnancy, by the way. I just was like, wow, girl. We got real big for number two, real quick. But I went up upstate and that was so nice that I could go on hikes every day. I was connecting with nature, I was outside. It was just really nice to be able to just have some R&R &R for myself especially during that first trimester where, oof, I didn't want to do much. We also did a little traveling, went to Nebraska. Nebraska summers are so great. Do not sleep on Nebraska. Um, had a cute little um, week with Justin alone. No baby. In Miami, that was really fun. I love summer. August was so much fun. I actually shot this amazing campaign with NYX. It's about all different types of women. I don't want to give it all away, but it was very, very exciting. Exciting. We're going live, we're posting right now. My phone is blowing up. Yeah, it's blowing up because I'm having twin boys and I finally announced it. Yay! Woo! Is that 
twins. Yeah. <laughs> That's a penis. Yep. That's a penis. It's Scorpio season, bachas. <laughs> which means it's my birthday, AKA October 30th, I'm turning 34. Well, let me tell you some things that happened in October. First of all, my stomach grew five inches. My vagina feels like it's gonna fall out. That's a whole other conversation. Maybe not for YouTube. This year for my birthday, because I'm about to have two more children, which will make it three kids all together, I figured I should do something. So I have three sets of friends that are flying in from out of state and out of country. And we're just gonna hang out. I'm such a homebody. I literally am ordering so much food. We're gonna have like a buffet on my island and we're just gonna sit around, eat. I baked a cake for my birthday. I'm gonna bake. Well, it's not really a cake. I made a brownie. Oh, there's like little um, chocolate chips in it. Oh, and we went to this museum called Please Touch in Philly. That was really fun. And we went to the zoo in Philly. It's really great for like two, three, four year olds. Just a parent tip, I guess. November. Okay, I'm here at my favorite spa with Justin doing what he does best. Hi, Justin, I love you. We got massages. Um, I did a sound bath. Justin has been doing the same. It's been so nice. We've just been disconnecting from outside and connecting inside. He also took some amazing photos of me, as he always does, my little sweetie. It's just been really nice to spend some great time together, you know, hanging out, being an old married couple. <laughs> So I am going to go get one more massage before I go home to see Mr. Menelik. I call Isaac Mr. Menelik, because that's his middle name. But anyways, I love you guys. And it's December. It's the end of 2021. I have to say that was a pretty good year. I had a really fun time. I haven't had the babies yet, but Maybe I will by the time I post this, who knows? I guess if they come before Christmas, I didn't even think about getting them a Christmas gift because I'm counting on them coming after Christmas. Everybody has put their bets in. My due date is January 1. Justin's birthday is New Year's Eve. So everybody's saying that they're gonna come in between Christmas and New Year's Day. So we'll see. We'll see who's right. Honestly, I have just been taking this whole month to relax and really lean into my third trimester. I've been nesting, organizing, prepping for when um, I'm about to be a mom of three. <laughs> well, I just wanted to check in with you guys and I hope you had a fantastic 2021. I will see you guys in 2022 when I have three children. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a few months off and really lean into my maternity leave. But I will see you all again very soon. Mm -hmm.